Hello, so today's YouTube video, you might notice it's a little bit different because there's somebody here with me, hurrah! This is Lyra, um, she'll introduce herself in a moment, but first of all, today's video is about fidgets that you can use in the classroom quietly and the reason that I'm making this video is because I was looking for one and there wasn't one and I thought who do I know who's an expert in such things <laughs> and I thought of Lyra so tell us a little bit about you and then we'll go into the fidgets I am Lyra, I am 12, I'm autistic and I find videos really helpful like these sorts of ones Excellent. So we're going to talk about like that you've got lots of fidgets haven't you? Yes. Um, but today we're specifically looking at a particular category. Yes, so they're like quiet ones that you can use in a classroom without like disrupting other students. Yeah because the thing is it's really important if you're going to get a fidget that you're going to use in some way to help you to regulate that you find one that works for you but it also doesn't drive everyone else completely back to you as well <laughs> that's quite important isn't yeah. it also if kids are watching this if you can find quiet ones then it tends not to annoy your um teachers as well yeah and so then they're less likely to take them away from you which is a good thing yeah right so what what are we looking at first lyra stretchy frog so they're like these little like stretchy frogs and I went through a phase of like only ever use like literally I would have one of these with me at all times I still use them a lot but they're just I've got so many of them. stretchy because look I have I have like a lot of frogs so what's so good about these and how would you use it in the classroom they're very quiet yeah and they're very uh like fidgety but they don't like like if it's because I know that some people they like don't like things looking like fidget like this isn't technically like this isn't advertised as a fidget toy no. it's like just a toy which I, I like to fidget one. with like it was in a party yeah bag, I think I got it in it? a party bag and yeah. then my yeah. love for, for them and you've continued. got also something else in here what's this oh yeah that's a, called a monkey noodle but it's like a monkey noodle but it's like it's like a really extra long stretchy version and I like them for the same reason and also I like wrapping it around my fingers mm, that's good so okay. yeah okay. Excellent. what Lyra is category number two category number two is like chewies so I normally have a chewy with me they're like a little silicon um, thing and there I have ones on a string so you can put them around your neck and then um, they and then you can just chew them um this one is softer and then i have also got i have other ones as well but these are the ones i just could find so then i have this one but they're like this one is smaller and it's softer and then this one's bigger and it's a bit harder and then also i have it's just you know the like poppy appeal bracelets and stuff it's just like one of those ones but it's what mum found um <laughs> it's actually from Prusap, and there will be people Prusap. from Prusap probably watching this so that's the people referral unit and it says it on it yeah you're really important i don't really know what you do but i care <laughs> about you <laughs> she chews you oh <laughs> uh, yeah i chew you um so yeah and that's for like because again like i know that some people don't like it being super obvious so it just looks like a normal bracelet and then you can chew it and another thing with the like softer and harder chews just to be aware of is um that so some people need harder chews and some people need softer chews some people if they had a soft one they would just chew through it really quickly but also when you start with chewies if you've not used them before then they're like hard. yeah and yeah but also your muscles are a bit weak yeah. and as they build up then you kind of need slightly harder yeah. ones because you get super strong mouth I um, need to let Buddy in, he's scratching at the door. <laughs> now we have Buddy as well. Yeah, he's a great He's a great toy. fidget toy. Lara's trying to persuade her school that they should have a school dog at the moment. Or let me bring in Buddy. Yeah. Uh, right, next. Koosh. I like, so, they're just like a ball sort of that's made of like silicon hairs kind of. Um, and... I just like how they feel and also like um, like Ellie sometimes pulls out her hair and so she sometimes uses this because it feels a bit like hair so it like stops her from hurting 
herself by accident and stuff. Yeah, good tip for anyone who's struggling with trichotillomania or hair pulling, um, that you can get a similar feeling, kind of, yes. from a couche. Okay, so next we have like tangles. I really like tangles. There's loads of different types. So there's like normal ones and they're just like sort of, and like you can attach, unattach them, but they're like, uh, how do you, would you describe a tangle? Just show them. There's no real way to. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's just like sort of a circle which you can like twist and fidget and stuff. And they, so this one's a textured one, but you can get totally plain ones. And then I have this other one, which is different. I used to have two, but I lost the other one. Um, but it's like a bit squishy. And it's got like bumps on it and it's thicker than the other one. And so I really like this one because it's just like another fidgetiness. Because like I like squishing it. Yeah, I also like on. biting it. And last but not least, what's the final category, Lyra? Putty. I have loads of putty, but these are like three different types. Well, they're not different types, are they? They're all Aaron's thinking putty. Yeah, but like t three different sorts of like categories in there. Okay. So Aaron's thinking putty, Lyra has been importing from America for years, but finally... But now we have it at our local toy shop. Yeah. It's amazing. And they also have the giant Squishmallows, also amazing. Also amazing. So. Okay, so first of all we just have like the classic. So this is like, this is the wizard's wand, um, it's glow in the dark, it's thinking putty, but it looks like this, it's very pretty. It's purple with gold specks in it. This one, uh, and I like putty because they're very stretchy and you can make things with it. So yeah, I like this one. And then... I like putty as well. <laughs> you always used to nick my putty. Yeah. So then we have this so this is like a medium sized tin sort of, so that's like a bigger tin. You can actually get even bigger tins, but they're the like weird mega ones. So then I have this putty. It, it is a sensory putty and it's like, it feels a bit different to the normal ones because it's like more kind of fluffier. Feel it, feels different. Oh yeah, it's very different, yeah. But it's still nice, don't you think? Yeah, it's a bit less sticky actually. Yeah, and it's like, it feels a bit more like slime. Then the last one is a mini one. It's very okay. pretty, this one. So I take these ones to school because they're like smaller. Mini. Because compare this to <laughs> this one to this one, it's like quite different yeah, in size. Yeah, you can put it in your pencil case, can't you? Yeah, I put them in my pencil case. So it's very pretty. It's purple with like kind of iridescent like Good word, Lyra. Lovely vocabulary. And it feels very nice and I like how it looks as well and it's little so it's easy to take everywhere. So this has got bits in? Yeah I know look at it it feels so nice. So that's a bit of interest. Right but should we say goodbye <laughs> for this one for now and maybe okay. you know if you guys enjoyed Lyra's video then give it a thumbs up and uh, let us know that you'd like her back. Ellie was hovering in the background somewhere so she might be up for making one sometime too as well. Yes. Thank you so much Lyra for being the guest star on my YouTube channel today. Thanks for having me mother. I was forced into this. Yeah, child labour. Child labour. I don't get paid anything. I genuinely don't. Who, get paid. Where do you think all the putty comes from? <laughs> Me! I've been paid for it all. Yeah, true. Anyway. I wasn't actually forced into this. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound even more like it was, doesn't it? Okay, on that note, I think we should go. Thank you, Lyra. <laughs>